we're leaving today. It's super calm. It's quite nice out actually. And uh, we're just gonna drift out through the inlet with the tide and then wait until tomorrow morning for the wind to hit. So the first thing we need to do is get the dinghy back on the deck. Shut up, shut up, shut up and sit and down. down. out the inlet. The winds right now aren't good for going south. They're actually directly on our nose right now. So it's pretty, pretty slow. But all we're really doing is we wanted to get out while the current was right. And it's still pretty calm. And then we're just gonna sit out here and wait. And then tonight, uh, wee hours of the morning, the winds are gonna hit and then we'll start moving. You may be wondering why we have our storm sails up on such a beautiful day. And it's simply because uh, in about four hours, it's gonna be nighttime. We always fly storm sails at night just to be safe. And so we figured what's the point really of putting up all our sails and then taking them down in three hours. We hope to. So since we're hope to, we're pretty much level. It's not really much wind at all. We're just kind of bobbing in the water. I'm in here boiling some pasta. We're gonna have Greek pasta salad for dinner. So we do not have pot holders, which means that when we want to cook something on the stove, Maddie would get seasick if she came down here in the sloshing boat. So that means that I have to stand here and just hold the pot while it cooks. I haven't been this excited since. Furbies. We can see the front coming that's going to push us down south to Miami. It's looking pretty ominous. <laughs> But that's a good thing, because it's going to give us winds. And that there is why we have the storm sail set.
making good time now. The sun's up. It's all all good out there. Yep, 93 miles to go, and then we'll be at Miami. This is absolutely awesome. It's warm with a cool breeze, gentle, steady wind. We're full sail on a broad reach. I, you couldn't ask for anything more. This is just so nice. And the water here is so blue. I am so excited. And we're only passing West Palm at this point. So we still have further south to go. And people have been telling us that the further south you go, the better the water gets so I don't know how it's gonna get much better than this but I'm wait I'm willing to find out <laughs> This is our second day out at sea. Uh, it's been pretty slow, I and mean, we've been doing max like six knots. Most of the time, it's more like three to four knots. So we've reefed down again for the night. We got the trysail and staysail up again, and uh, brought down the mainsail. And I'm just gonna get some sleep while Maddie's still out there on watch. And then when she comes in to go to sleep, then I'll just be on watch the rest of the night. And uh, yeah, tomorrow hopefully we arrive in Miami. We're just following right on the edge of the Straits of Florida. So it's kind of a treacherous area in my opinion because you don't have much leeway. So you have to be real close to shore because if not, the Gulf Stream's like right next to you. So you're going along. I like to have enough room that I can say go to sleep for a half hour. And in that half hour, if the boat turns and aims straight for shore, we won't run aground. That's not a thing here because we have to be so close to shore that with any speed, you'll be on ground in a few minutes. So uh, you don't really get to sleep very deeply or for much time at all because you're always checking everything. But it is what it is. No kids, right? Of, uh, 
I royally screwed up. I was doing our watch schedule and I wasn't paying attention to our direction and we ran aground on a beach so now we are being salvaged. Uh, it's, it's quite unnerving to hear that your home and everything that you love and own and have needs to be salvaged. Uh, thankfully, having been through a total drying out in the Carolinas has prepared us mentally, or at least prepared me mentally, for the fact that no, we're not going to tip over, and uh, no, it's not going to sink, and I've just made sure that everything is sealed up as best I can get it. We have the companionway closed, all the hatches are dogged down, the portholes are all closed down, so breaking waves over the boat aren't going to penetrate and flood the boat and sink it. Uh, the sea tow is on their way. They're going to bring a couple boats to see if they can't pull it off of here. Uh, and then we'll get towed to another harbor to do some repairs and see you know, what the damage is. So, yeah. Thankfully, we're still in the surf and uh, we're kind of teetering on our keel from turn of bilge to turn of bilge, so we're not like over and staying, but it's it's still not a fun time. So this is uh this is right now. Yeah, I can't really wow. see much here. Honestly, I think it's gonna be too dark. What time will we be in the morning? Oh, this poor guy. How did that happen? Say we're looking good. <clears throat> Wait, I hear a lot of water pouring. Wait, check the bilge. Ugh. Give me a second, we're, we're taking on some water. We're uh, taking on some water. You're taking on water? Yeah, I don't know from where. Uh, we need to figure that out. We need yes. to figure out whether or not it's just in your bills or if you're taking on water after. I, I know, I know. Let me just pump this out fast. Let me get the water out and then we'll see if it's coming in again. It's coming in from aft. Let me see. Uh, sorry. Give me a second. I'm, it might be the rudder post. Oh, 
hole's fine. I repeat, the, the hole's fine. It was just the lazarette filled with water. I can't hear you. A, a lazarette got filled with water and was spilling into the bilge. But it's there's no hole inside. Nope. Yeah, can you give me a split second to like just put a put a thing back that doesn't like fall everywhere? Okay. I got it. I will be super fast. quadrant broke so I have no steering. I'm not too worried about that. Okay, just to let you know. I think we're floating now. Okay. Yeah, we're rubbing now. Here we go. All right. Probably gonna get a couple of yeah. Get it out of the way there. Yep. That's what's going on. No, I, I'm fine. I'm just giving you a heads up in case you start slowing down. On my account. Check the bilge again. Bilge is still dry. We're good there. Have you got a VHF radio on board? Yes, right next to me. What channel do you want? Alright, I'm on six. So the plan is we're going to get hauled out on Monday, we'll check for damage. First thing we need to do is sand away these areas and see what exactly is going on in here. And then after we sand them, then we're going to grind them out and then re-glass them. We can see the front coming that's going to be pushing us down south to um, that place we're going. Miami. Miami. We can see the front coming, pushing us. Thanks so much for watching. And if you want to become a sailing buddy, you can click the link down below to our Patreon account. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. And when you click subscribe, make sure you click on the little bell in the annotation. That way you get notifications as soon as our next video is uploaded. Thanks so much.